folks, I'm back and I've done some research. I think I can bring our friend Molly back. Harper, a little assistance, but first, some mood lighting. Perfect. Now, let's get ready. All right, on the count of three, Molly should be back. Three, two, one. Is this the glowathon? You're not Molly. You're not Molly. The, I, there must have been something done wrong. Um, okay, folks. Um, uh, um, so, uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Miss, Mr. Cole, I was at the glowathon, and but now I'm. Where am I? Um, Sam, maybe we raise enough money for the glowathon, she'll come back. Maybe we. Maybe that's true, or if we we can bring her back on Halloween as well. Let's do both. Try again. Okay. Okay. Um, folks. Um, I gotta do more research. Uh, bye. <laughs> And welcome to this fun episode of the Daily Video Announcements. Today is Monday, October 17th, and I'm Charlie. And hi, I'm Violet. Now it's time where we all stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Check, check, check those school emails and share the Pledge Star link. We're down to our final countdown to reach the recess gains incentive of $25,000. And the Glowathon goal, the Glowathon is this Friday, October 21st, where we will have this special schedule for the, for the day. This also means that there will be no video announcements that day. Sorry. <laughs> Over to Mr. Cole to explain our schedule on Friday. Hey, we're excited for Glowathon on Friday and just want to give you an idea of what the schedule will look like that day. You're going to go through a modified schedule similar to map testing. We're going to go bells 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and then you're going to all go to your 5th bell class even if you have A lunch. So after your 7th bell class, everyone will go to their 5th bell class. Um, at that time, the teachers will hand out uh, all the different prizes you got from Glowathon. Uh, at that point, then A lunch teachers will dismiss them at 11.15 to go to lunch, and then it'll be a normal fifth bell uh, time period. After fifth bell, then you're going to go to your flex bell, um, and seventh graders, your flex bell teacher is going to take you uh, to the gym for the glowathon. Eighth graders, uh, your flex bell teacher is going to take you out to the field for field day. Um, then at some point, you guys will switch, uh, and then you'll be dismissed after that. For your book bags, you're going to take your book bag and leave them in your flex bell class and then after your last event, uh, you will go back to your flex bell before getting on the bus, walking home or getting picked up. We're going to have more details about all the fun events coming uh, at Glowathon and at the field day. Uh, I know we're pushing right now, we're at about $22,000, hopefully we get over that $25,000 mark to get uh, the recess package, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks guys. Thanks Mr. Cole. So basically, we will have our all of our shortened bells, 1 to 7, in order, except skip 5th bell and flex bell, where they will be pushed and swapped at the end of the day. Our glowathon event will run at the end of the day after 5th bell and during our flex bell meeting time. Pretty simple, as you see the schedule displayed on the screen. And for your convenience, we have added a copy of, our, of the special schedule on the News Crew Communications Classroom in the Glowathon section. Well, we did it! Congratulations! Both grades together have raised over $22,000. Yes, we get a field day. We so can join together to reach our top goal of recess equipment the next few days. Go Sycamore Junior High! Go Waves! <coughs> it's really... It really is awesome that this money goes to our school needs. We are only $3,000 away from getting the recess fun activity items. We can do this. All right, your voice matters. Make sure to take time to share your opinion on the recess equipment and activities list that you would possibly like to have if we meet the top glowathon $25,000 goal. This is crazy awesome. Let's do this, Sycamore Junior High. We can do this for us. Go out this week and make it happen. Be responsible and keep checking your school emails. 
Don't miss out on the important information. And make sure that your voice is heard on the Sycamore Junior High News Crew Communications Forum. You know where to go. OZUJS35. It's right here on the screen. Thanks. We are here to help you. Next up, National, National Day! Day! Today is National Boss Day. Yep. Obviously, most students here don't have jobs. But you can always have other bosses in your life, not just in work. Maybe a boss in your life may be a parent or a teacher, but it doesn't hurt to thank them for all the work that they've done for us. A boss could also be our school principal, Mrs. Shunk, or even our assistant principals, Mr. Cole and Mr. Meyer. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to students Adam F. and Chloe R. And students Jayla D. and our news crew member, Molly H. Yay! Nancy P, Henry P, Dakota M, who celebrated over the weekend. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good morning, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, Ski Club, your meeting is going to be held Thursday, all right, during Flex in the Media Center. So they'll give you sign-up information at this time. If you have questions, see Ms. Meyer or Mrs. Swenson. Partners Club, your meeting is going to be Wednesday, October 19th, after school until 4 o'clock in the cafeteria. Make sure you have joined the Google Classroom with this code right there. All right, and if you have questions, see Mrs. Zenis or Mrs. Serbless. We the People, your meeting is Tuesday, October 25th at 7.15 a.m. in room 200. If you have questions about We the People, see Mr. Hammer or Mr. Gutermuth in room 200. The fall play. Fall play is happening, if not this weekend, all right? Tickets are officially on sale for Sycamore Junior High Theater's fall play, the Brothers Grimm Spectaculation. Spectaculathon. Sorry, Spectaculathon. That's hard to say. show will take place on October 20th, 21st, and 22nd at 7 p.m. at the Sycamore High School Auditorium. You can purchase tickets at avestheater.org or at the door for $10. We hope to see you there from say, ca some chaotic fairy tale fun. And finally, congratulations to our seventh grade volleyball team, seventh grade gold volleyball team, who finished their season with a 14 and three record and second place in the GMC. The girls played their hearts out in the championship game against Mason, but came up just short. The girls had a stellar season and were a true team in every sense of the word. Congratulations once again to the 7th grade gold volleyball team and Coach Villani on an outstanding season. All right, second place. Great job, girls. That's it for me. You guys enjoy your Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now over to Carter with the top 10. What's up, everyone? I'm Carter with your top 10 survey results. Last week, the question was, what is your favorite food? In 10th place, we have tacos with nine votes. In ninth place, we have waffles with nine votes. In eighth place, we have chili with ten votes. In seventh place, we have sushi with ten votes. In sixth place, we have chicken fingers or nuggets with eleven votes. In fifth place, we have bacon with twelve votes. In fourth place, we have cake with thirteen votes. In third place, we have fries with fifteen votes. In second place, we have pizza with 17 votes. And in first place, we have mac and cheese with 19 votes. Last week, we only had 29 responses, so make sure you complete the survey this week. This week, the question is, what is your favorite color? See you later. Bye. Thank you, Carter. Next up, we have our first More in Sycamore showcase. We are planning to take the time to know our junior high community and learn about each other. Now over to our first edition with Kendall, who has interviewed her teacher, Ms. Ennis. Hello, I'm Kendall with Mrs. Ennis. What inspired you to be a teacher? So what inspired me to be a teacher is that I love working with students and I've always loved learning. So being a teacher just felt natural to me. Is teaching difficult? Teaching definitely has days that it feels difficult, um, just like with any career. But teaching also has huge wins, so it's awesome. 
would you consider teaching the talent? So that's a tricky question. Teaching is a talent, but it's also a skill. So I think it's something that you're born with, but it's also something that you have to learn to guide you in your instructional practices. Thanks, Kendall. Yay! Yay! Good job! That's a wrap for today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go Apes! Apes!